So first of all, let's start with some sports science. Time under tension refers to you having to sit through a Vince Del Monte belly fat video. Vince, how do you lose belly fat? I can't get rid of my belly fat. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Who is your daddy and what does he do? And so that was just a joke. Actually, time under tension has nothing to do with belly fat. James, why do you talk about Thomas DeLauer so much? That, that, that's why. So first, I would really genuinely like to thank the people who follow this community, who watch my videos, who've been on this journey with me. You'll understand the purpose behind my videos, the ethos of the channel, giving honest, transparent information. So thank you very much. And with this video, I will talk about this, these binge eating challenges, which are trending on YouTube right now. He just gained two pounds in 10 minutes. Some of these videos have up to 10 million views each. And guys, ah. Subway also deliver cookies. And I also just want to say that weight gain for some populations is very important. Certain populations of people may be underweight or have a certain unhealthy low weight and they need to gain weight for health reasons. That is absolutely legitimate. That is absolutely important. In addition, people who are overweight looking to lose fat, I absolutely support you in your health journey and I wish you well. But these challenges are pure entertainment. It's not about weight gain for any health particular reason other than entertainment for their viewers. And they're eating what I would call junk foods, fast food, pizzas, snacks, chocolates, uh, soft drinks, sodas, etc. Just these huge calorie type junk foods, which again is nothing to do with gaining weight in a healthy manner. So I think that's an important distinction to make. Guys, comment down below, who do you think is gonna win? Derek D-Rock, leader of the D-Squad. Agreed. And whoever can gain the most weight in one day will win this challenge. And I don't think it's really fair to say that these binge eating challenges promote those health issues as they are very much one-off type videos. And there's nothing to suggest that the people taking part are consistently eating this way or in a caloric surplus that would lead to that body composition. However, however I do think there is a debate to be had with these types of videos as to the respect we place upon food, especially when you have such large audiences consuming this content. And as a health and fitness channel, of course, I'm not particularly gonna be fond of these types of challenges. But before I get to that quality content, I first want to give you an interesting thought. The Biggest Loser, which was a TV show which saw people lose large amounts of weight quickly due to very debatable methods, has been debated post the TV show as a piece of research has shown that the, the participants regained the weight. Now, people such as Dr. Lane Norton have picked up upon this and they give an argument that crash dieting and weight regain and crash dieting and weight regain, this sort of yo-yo dieting leads to some sort of metabolic damage whereby it is harder for these people to lose fat in the future due to the yo-yo nature of their weight loss and weight regain. However, Alan Aragon has a slightly different view of this idea of this metabolic damage. However, he does not necessarily agree with this idea that yo-yo dieting leads to this metabolic damage, which will make it harder for those people to lose fat in the future. And indeed, he says that the contestants on this show were a very special population. Their composition, what they went through on the show is not normal dieting conditions. And Therefore, he, is, he finds it very problematic that you can extrapolate these results to a wider population. For example, he says that they had the perfect storm of, of bad macros, uh, low protein, lack of resistance training, complete disregard for preserving lean mass while dieting, and prolonged semi-starvation. Bottom line, Aragon says, if someone tries to sell you promises based on fixing metabolic damage, don't be so quick to fall for it. And so that's actually quite a deep topic to go into, but I just wanted to touch upon that. It's something you may be interested in, in looking into. Okay, go over here, turn around, sit. Okay, we're not wasting any calories today. And so these binge eating videos, my, my thumbnail was, was binge eating for cash. And they literally are. In the Morgs video, for example, the, the winner won 10,000. A few years. Oh, sorry, keeps happening. Years ago, I was Fat Morgs. And today, Fat Morgs is coming back. I have an idea, guys. Order, guys. You're in for a surprise. Oh, guys. Don't forget the ha. McFlurries too. 
guys, Cassian, diabetes in a day. Michael, I guess I now have a new rabbit hole to go down on my next YouTube journey. Enjoy, Michael. Don't forget to wash your eyeballs out. And again, this is not a topic that I can give direct causation or some sort of informative ideas upon. This really is opinion. I've, I've watched this and it's, I've, I watched it and my reaction was, what is this? And what do you think in this community? That's why I wanted to share it. Mm -hmm. Personally, I don't like it. In the in fitness YouTube, we have the 10,000 calorie challenges and we even have better content than that where we can follow a fitness celebrity around for a day and see everything they eat. So these gain as much weight as you can in a day or 10 minute challenges have been published by some gamers and sort of lifestyle channels. Here's a selection of them. Phase Rug is one of them, 11 million subscribers. The Morgs, 9 million subscribers, 10 million views on that video. These videos absolutely are trending. They are popular. And to any gamers who are watching me for the first time and, they're and you're wondering, who is this guy? Why, why are we watching him on YouTube? Let me just throw a little testimonial at you. Whatever that little uh, skinny ass dude from what shredded sports science or something's gonna come in. Well, Adley Nexus, this is so good. He's gonna probably endorse it, and that's why he's a skinny weak. Not that one. And so, unsurprisingly, I don't know what a phase is, but I managed to track down the information from the most reliable source possible. Wikipedia. But FaZe Clan is an American esports and entertainment organization that competes in various video game tournaments. And this is related to Call of Duty trick shots. And I just want to correct any gamers there. Think that Call of Duty is the ultimate game. You're incorrect. Football Manager has and always will be the greatest game of all time. Championship Manager, completed it, mate. I took Woking from the conference to the Champions League in six seasons. Stuff like that doesn't go unnoticed, Neil. And as it happens, James Buckley from the Inbetweeners has a popular gaming channel on YouTube. You see, don't tell me I never give you anything. And so from my point of view, this is just anecdotal opinion. I don't really value this type of content. I don't think it gives an, a good message in terms of the respect for food. However, in Phase Rug, for example, he says, don't try this at home. But I really am interested to know what people think of this because this is new for me to see this. And I just think it's kind of ridiculous, but it is incredibly popular because I absolutely do believe there's a debate to be had here. And that's why I wanted to make this video for this community. We can say that this absolutely is a narrative on the respect for food, and this may have an impact in some way. Please let me know what you feel about these binge eating, eat as many calories as you can, put on as much weight as you can in 10 minutes or a day. Some of these are up to 50,000 calories, etc. over families. This extreme binge eating. Now I'm nervous because I know I'm going to lose weight. Like, I just know I lost weight from that. And so I'm joining Biceps from the Daily Sludge. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon.